In the previous video, I narrated to you the pre-DevOps era. With this story, the second part of it, we are now entering into the DevOps era. And even though in 2008, we were still one year far from the inception of DevOps, it was there were winds of change in the site. I had also described to you the state of the infrastructure, which was ad hoc and inconsistent in pre DevOps era. But around 2008 was my when my team came across a tool called as puppet, which was also part of a domain called as configuration management, where instead of making this ad hoc infrastructure changes in an inconsistent way, you could drive the change management through a centralized configuration management system. So all you had to do was write the infrastructure as a code, which was a very interesting concept at that point of time, and then publish it to a centralized server. And all your systems would pull the changes automatically from that centralized servers and configure themselves. So absolute consistency was something that you could easily achieve with this. And this is something we started experimenting with my team did. And then we saw intangible immediate effects, because now we had, you know, very little issues uh, that would, you know, uh, perpetrate to the production systems because of the configurations or changes or any infrastructure related issues, right? And uh, the another interesting thing about uh, Puppet as a configuration management system was it was used by the likes of Google at that point of time. So there was an aura around that tool and you know a lot of interest was drawn because of just that one fact. Now, what was Google doing in 2008? Well, even though I mentioned about Google using Puppet, they were using it mainly for the configuration management for their laptops and desktop systems. Their production systems were already moved to containers in 2008 and they had built a you know a orchestrator for containers uh, you know sort of a cluster manager for it called as Borg. Imagine this we started talking about the world started talking about docker and containers somewhere in 2013 but google had built and migrated their entire production infrastructure um, in 2004 to containers that fact is just amazing and that tells a lot about uh, how far ahead google is from rest of the world Around the same time, um, you know, uh, that they built Borg and started uh, running their infrastructure with containers, um, you know, there were certain features which were missing from the Linux kernel, which they started contributing to one of one such feature, which offered the process resource isolation was, you know, then contributed back to the Linux kernel. And around 2008, along with the fundamental feature of namespaces, this new feature was released as C groups. Now, built on top of C groups and namespaces was the product called as Linux containers or LXC, which came out in 2008. Around that time was when a lot of companies started incorporating LXC and started building solutions on top of that. One such company which built a solution on top of this or product on top of this is something I'm going to talk about in a few minutes in possibly the next video. In 2008, in another part of the world, there was a person from Ghent, Belgium, by name Patrick de Bois, who presented a paper in the Agile Conference in Toronto, Canada, about how to make the operations and the infrastructure more agile. Now, we're talking about 2008, where, where Agile was only limited to the development uh, practices. So not a lot of takers for this particular uh, you know, uh, philosophy or thoughts. However, there was one person in that same conference. In, in fact, there was another interesting story around this, um, you know, uh, around this conference where Patrick Dubois had organized a birds of feeder session, an informal session in a conf formal conference, uh, which received so low response that even Patrick did not attend that session. But this particular person, Andrew Kelly Schaeffer, um, went to that uh, session. Uh, he actually. Uh, found Patrick in the same conference and they started a conversation which resulted in formation of this Agile Systems Administrator group. Now, not a lot of things happened around that time. 
but fast forward to 2009 which i also call as the inception here of devops you know when cloud was going full throttle mainly the aws aws has launched some interesting services including you know the virtual private cloud vpcs the elastic block stores um, the you know um, one of the most interesting feature at that time was auto scaling and that was the beginning of a lot of companies leveraging the cloud and dynamically scaling out their infrastructure and building their solutions on top of that right um around that time when a lot of people were busy watching pitbull and miley cyrus and that was the, that, that's the list of most watched videos in 2009 there was one specific video on youtube which grabbed my attention particularly was uh, these two people talking about something called as 10 plus deploys per day and uh, john alspa along with paul hammond uh, from flicker talked about how devon operations cooperation can lead to 10 plus deploys per day now as i described in the earlier video we we were just talking about uh, two releases per month and that was a big thing for us and here were you know uh, uh, here was a company who was talking about 10 plus deploys a day and that was sort of surprising shocking for a lot of people uh, however what they also described was the how they achieved it by the you know by using a lot of automation uh, writing infrastructure as a code uh, bringing in a lot of practices uh, you know uh, and collaboration in improving the collaboration between devops and that gave us a way to actually start talking about uh, and you know uh, thinking about how we could also achieve it and then patrick was back in 2009 he was also watching this uh, you know uh, this this conference uh, live streaming of that possibly and uh, that's exactly when he would have thought hey this is exactly what i was talking about in the uh, agile uh, conference in, in you know back in 2008 and then he started this conversation on the internet which led to the very first devops days being organized in ghent belgium in 2009 and that was when the you know the discussion between hey how can we achieve the collaboration between devops and you know um, move faster as an organization started and that conversation struck on on the internet since on the internet like twitter we have uh, you know very little real estate this devops days became a hashtag of you know devops and that was when this devops as a word was actually coined so what started as a you know just a mere discussion on the internet and then you know it grew into a very widespread movement what we call as devops practices today around 2009 was also the time when um you know uh, there was some development on the configuration management side where Uh, some of the developers a subset of developers of puppet the tool that i talked about earlier um had diverged and created a new product called as chef now there were some div divergent views on how puppet should you know move forward in terms of the development features the bug fixes and so on and that was when this happened now since there were subset of developers of puppet when they created chef they brought in a lot of good features of puppet yes but they also lot of added uh, brought in a lot of uh, negative points and the complexities around puppet as well uh it was still based on ruby uh if you wanted to extend chef you still had to be a ruby programmer and uh, it, even though it was very powerful it was very friendly with cloud it was also quite complex to get started with to learn and to extend around that time was when probably one guy would possibly be amused at this development and he had started working on something else and started at least thinking about that and that's what i assume and i'm going to talk about the story of that person in uh, in in a few minutes time and this was also an important development the chef and puppet because those were the two tools which became at one point of time if you wanted to do devops it was almost equivalent to using either of puppet or chef right so that's that's the reason why this development was important and what i'm talking about here is the story from 2008 and 2009 that was the beginning inception years of devops what comes next is the era of chaos 
and let's talk about it in the next lesson.